Stockholm's central station is Sweden's largest train station. Some 250,000 passengers travel through it each day. All those moving bodies generate a lot of heat, and even in Sweden's chilly climate, it's more than the building needs. So the real estate company that owns the building is using heat exchangers to transfer central station's excess heat to another building across the street. This has cut energy costs in the other building by one quarter. Different buildings have different energy consumptions at different times of day. If we're going to move towards a more energy efficient and sustainable society, then we have to make these buildings communicate so that we use all the energy available. The concept behind this breakthrough is simple. The ventilation system at Central Station takes in hot air from people's body heat and converts it into hot water. The water is then pumped into the heating system of the building across the street. According to experts, harnessing body heat works particularly well in Sweden because of low winter temperatures and high gas prices. It's not the first time this has been tried out. This has been done before, but only in one building at a time. It's an old idea which has been used before. The novelty here is that we move the energy between two buildings. The system, which has been tested extensively, will be fully operational once the station's refurbishment is completed in November.